I wonder how many of you uh, can guess at what I use this stick for. Uh, so yeah, have a guess. I'm listening. I have to speak up, I'm afraid I'm a bit deaf. Cool. <laughs> I'm really surprised. I didn't think any of you would guess what I use it for. That's right, you're dead right. I do indeed use it for breaking up uh, blo blocks of CO2, dry ice. Uh, you've got to wear gloves because it's uh, rather cold. And, you know, the blocks, they come like this. Uh, and once they're uh, broken up like that, they get uh, put into the uh, mix of um, isopropanol alcohol. This forms a slurry, uh, and that's around about, the liquid is around about minus 80, minus 90 degrees centigrade. And it's uh, just about the right temperature for uh, doing your, your freeze quench, for converting your retained austenite when you're doing stainless. Time to get these very hot. 1065 degrees centigrade in actual fact. So in they go one at a time. and lots of clamping pressure. I find that's the best way to keep your blades flat. I have no idea how much force I'm actually applying. I just know I wouldn't want my fingers trapped underneath all that lot. bit of time for the stainless to go cool so I not necessarily got to over the it. I find that if you don't have the clamping pressure sometimes they can warp even under plates. So things have now gone cold. Yeah, they are 
cold. Push how flat are they? Let's have a look. Let's see how flat they are. Yeah, that's pretty flat. They are dead flat. Dead flat. So now they must get frozen. So they got to stay in the sub zero now for 30 minutes. Bubbling away. Time to do some Rockwell testing now. They've all come out super flat. There they are, look. I don't know if you can see that. They are really flat. That's thanks to that real positive clamping pressure that I use. Uh, and you haven't got to be in such a hurry, such a hurry either with uh, getting the, the blades cooled because they actually will harden using the air cooling methods. So you've got plenty of time. Anyway, uh, I'm really happy with the uh, hardnesses. I tested them last night. I was burning the midnight oil, oil last night. By the time I went to bed after the second temper, it was uh, gone one o'clock in the morning. So let's just uh, have a review of the uh, Rockwells. They should be around about 60, 60.5 or something like that. I'll tell you about the heat treatment that I used as well. Let's wait for the uh, Rockwell to test it to do its thing. And, and, uh, that's about 59.8. So uh, with that I am exceptionally happy. AEBL 59.8 that'll be good that one's been cleaned up Yeah, 59.9, uh, almost 60 HRC for AEBL. They're going to make absolutely superb knives. So I was burning the midnight oil last night, and by the time I finished the second temper, it was one o'clock in the morning. Um, but I'm really happy with how the AEBLs come out. And I... I the, the research, I, I did a bit of research on AEBL heat treat and there's, everyone seems to sort of like have a, the, where you go to, there, there, there's different ideas uh, about the, the heat treatment of these various steels and the most, the, the one that made the most sense to me, I forget the website now, um, but anyway the, the, the heat treatment that I used for the outcome that I've got, I, I uh, Soaked at 1065 centigrade for 15 minutes and then plate quenched and then uh, put in the uh, slurry, the, the CO2 dry ice slurry, which is a mixture of dry ice and isopropanol alcohol for a minimum of 30 minutes. And then uh, I had two tempers at about 200 degrees centigrade and uh, that should have given me according to the the heat treatment online that I found that should have given me a, a, a Rockwell hardness of around about 60 um, 
But when I took my measurements, first of all I measured the rock wells after I plate quenched the blades. The plate quenched hardness came out at 59.7. Then I put them in the dry ice slurry for 30 minutes. Then I re-measured the Rockwell harnesses and they came out at 61.2. Uh, I did the first temper, two hours at 200. That the Rockwell then came down to 60.4. And uh, I did the second temper and then you've just seen the results of the, uh, the Rockwell test just now. So, uh, just uh, around about sort of 60, 59.7 to 60 RC after two two hour temper cycles at 200. So, um, I think that's a, that's a result. Uh, just got to build the blades up now. Uh, I'm probably going to have a couple of days off actually, so I'm not feeling too brilliant. I've got a bit of a sore throat today. And, um, yeah, it's just uh, good to have a bit of a rest every now and again. So, anyway, that's the progress on the Whitlers. There they are. The first one's in AEBL. Um, they should make beautiful knives. There you go.